and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Mallory and today's tutorial is going to be on the Shayna B Miami Mini Miami palette. This came in our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month. So I am going to create a look for you guys. Now in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unboxing, I had recorded a video for that look, but some kind of way I've deleted it. So this is actually not gonna be the same makeup, but very similar. But I'm glad that that one is gone because after I was like editing it and stuff, I kind of didn't like the look. So I'm gonna go back in with something similar, but different. So the first color I'm gonna go in with, and as you can see, I've already done my face and everything. These colors are fairly, like they're all pretty neutral. So I figured it'd probably be fine if I went ahead and did my face first. First, I'm gonna go in with the color South Beach. Or is that peach? Oh, whoa. South Peach, which is this peachy orange shade. And I'm going to, this is a, this brush, this brush is by Farah. It's a 35E. This is just like a big fluffy blend brush. I'm gonna put this in my crease. I really like putting the oranges in my crease because I feel like they like take to the browns really good. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on both sides. I feel like these colors, they come off really good and pigmented. Whenever I put these colors on, like I still want, even though like I'm using the orange as a transition shade, I still want it to be pretty bright. So I keep dabbing it in the in the color and just kind of pat it on in a patting motion instead of swapping. I'm gonna take the color um, Cafecito, the brown, and I'm going to use another blend brush and do the same thing like in a dabbing motion. I think this palette is so cute. Like it looks like little flamingos, like lovers, flamingo lovers. I want it to be like smoky cause I am going to do a cut crease. You guys, us with kids like during this quarantine, pray for us because it is like a struggle. People who homeschool their kids and like their kids are home all the time and it's like, whoa, like, how do y'all do that? Like y'all are super amazing cause I'm tired. Makes me want to smoke cigarettes and I don't even smoke. Now you see this fallout that we got going on. This is kind of excessive. Once you feel like you're smoky enough, I feel like I'm pretty smoky over here. Get this fallout off of my face. See, that really bothers me because I just said, oh, I think it'll be fine because the shades are neutral, but look at that. It looks like I got a black eye. Oh, I'm just gonna put my setting powder like under there again. Hopefully that'll lighten it up. I am using the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. This is the shade Create. One of these things is not like the other. Okay, so that looks pretty even. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush and I think I'm going to go in with, well, I'm definitely gonna go in with Pull Out Princess and Heat. Thinking I might do haul over nude, but I'm gonna start with the Port Out Princess first. So I'm just going to put that right here, right in the middle. I'm leaving room for the other one for the haul over nude, just in case I want to use it. I'm not sure yet. So I'm just gonna go in with that on my lid. I did not bring it over yet because I'm going to put the color heat right next to this one. I think I am going to go use this haul over nude. This first shimmer shade right here. I'm going to put that right here. And I didn't switch brushes. I just like flipped this one over. And this one is a all over shadow brush by Elizabeth Mott. Um, didn't have a number or anything. That was a good choice. Ooh, that was a good choice. I like that right there. Had a little bit of, little bit of dimension, I guess. So now I'm, I'm gonna get a new brush and I'm going to put heat over here. That was a 
good choice. That was a good choice. Okay, so now I'm going to like try to mix um Oh no no that wasn't a good one. You done with your snack? You can go throw it away. My kids, they all know where the trash can is, but they're still like, oh, I'm done. I'm like, okay, do with it then. <sighs> okay, so I'm mixing um, South Peach and Heat together to blend out this outer corner. It's making a mess on my face again. Okay, I think it's pretty blended. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's like still there. Let's just ignore it. Let's just ignore it and keep going. For eyeliner, I'm going to use the Tarte Tardius Pro. This also came in our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month. This is the pencil side. We're not going to use that. And then the felt tip side. We are definitely using this. Wait. I forgot to do something. So I'm gonna take the color uh, Cavacito in my outer corner. I'm gonna soften that. Mine totally forgot to do that. Okay, so I'm wearing like a pretty thick liner. Okay, so I made this liner like way too thick. I'm gonna try to clean it up with some concealer. These are they're not looking like sisters. Go so, in with my NYX. Um, this is the Black Bean Jumbo Eye Pencil. I like this yeah. one for my waterline. Yeah, girl. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I like to use this for my waterline just because it's big and it makes it easier, I feel like. So now I'm going to use my, this is the NYX liquid liner. So now I'm going to go back in with the colors Cafecito and South Peach so I can smoke out my under eye. post on um it's like a sponsored post on instagram i feel like it's like i don't even want to try to like butcher the name of the um the company but they sell like pigments and there was an eyeshadow look kind of like this and then she had like a pink in the inner corner so i'm gonna go in and do that too the palette i'm gonna use is the 24a 24a artist pass by morph um, I have not used this yet, actually. Like, this is the film I'm taking off, but I knew that there was like a very hot pink right there. So, let me use that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love this palette already. Be on the lookout for a tutorial. <laughs> From this palette, y'all, I saw this one and I was like in love. guys thank you so much for watching this video this is the end of this tutorial the palette i still really love it even with all the fallout i feel like it's one that anybody can use like no matter what color you are no matter what look you're trying to achieve daytime glam nighttime glam i do think it's a great palette to have in your collection if you're not already go ahead subscribe to my channel like this video leave your comments in the box below and you guys will see my face in the next video